What is good everyone, welcome back to another video, I hope you're all having a great day. Now then, today's video is another controversial one, so it's about a glitch or an exploit or whatever you want to call it. It's basically using a mod that is currently broken as all hell and should probably get patched very quickly because it's kind of insane. That being said, obviously as it's a glitch or a bug or, you know, something that's broken in the game, you probably shouldn't use it. Uh, you may be flagged as a cheater or you may get a watermark on your account or whatever if you use this. So you have been warned. Now, as some of you already know, the mod called Emergency Stance is actually bugged right now. It's not working as intended. So what Emergency Stance does is... It says, attain Golem Protective Effect for 4 seconds whenever your health drops below 30%. And it's on a 10 second cooldown. So that being said, obviously the effect is only meant to last 4 seconds. Right now in the game, it's actually broken. And once it procs, sometimes it stays active forever. It doesn't last 4 seconds, it just stays on 24-7. So as you can see there guys, above my health bar, you can actually see the shield icon, which is the Golem buff. So once Golem procs, that is what you get for 4 seconds, or what, that's what's meant to happen for 4 seconds, and then it's meant to disappear. You can see that I no longer have the Golem form, form on my character, I'm just, you know, I'm normal armor and everything, no Golem form, but I still have the 65% damage reduction buff. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and start the mission, and I'm just going to show you how long it takes to die with the buff, and how long it takes to die without the buff. Just so you can see the comparison and see just how OP this is. So this is with Golem mode active. And this is just going to be a comparison with no Golem mode glitch active. And we'll show you the difference of how quick we die. It is a lot, lot quicker, as you can see. So we're going to run in and I'll show you how it works. We're basically going to die. Just We're going to run in and die. This is how broken this buff is. This is tier 15 and you can see how much that you can tank. It's super hard for you to get killed. Now we're going to go ahead and die. At which point our buff should disappear. Of course it should disappear. We should no longer have the golem buff. We're going to click retry and look what happens. We load in and as you see, instantly I have the golden buff. That disappears and we still have the shield above our health bar. Which means the golden buff is still active. So you can actually die in the expedition and you still have the golden buff active. It's actually insane. So it's a 65% damage reduction. Which is absolutely crazy because it basically makes you have god mode near enough. Like you literally take 65% less damage from absolutely everything. Whether you're getting hit, you're getting sniped, you're getting shot at, set on fire, it doesn't matter. You're taking 65% less damage. So it is a cheesy method guys, of course. Uh, using it's, it's a broken mod right now. But if you are struggling on CT15, so you're struggling on CT14, trying to get to the 15 so you can finish it. This may be the help you were looking for in order to just survive long enough to be able to get the clear time and get it done. You will also notice, guys, that I've just left the expedition and we still have the buff. So even once you exit out of the mission, you still have the buff on you, which is pretty insane. So I'm going to go ahead and reload into another expedition. And once we've loaded into a completely separate expedition, gone through a loading screen and everything, you can see we still have the buff active. It literally doesn't go away, regardless of what you do. Obviously, if you exit to the lobby and you come back in, I'm pretty sure it's going to disappear. I haven't actually tested that yet. But as far as I'm aware, as long as you stay in the game, you can play as many expeditions as you want. And once the buff is procced and it's bugged out, it's just going to give you 65% damage reduction until you basically log out the game or turn the game off. You pretty much can't get rid of it. So we've just gone ahead and switched the mod emergency stance off of our gear set. As you can see, 
on the gloves, we have Seismic Impulse in place of the mod. So, it's no longer on our gear set at all. We don't look at all of these. We no longer have it on our gear set, right? If you look at a health bar, we still have the shield icon. Which means we still have the, the buff from Gollum. So, we still have the Gollum buff, even though we no longer have it on our gear piece. So, we're basically stacking a mod on that we no longer have at all and we should not have. And we have 65% damage reduction whilst also having a completely separate mod on our gear. Now, obviously, I put Seismic Impulse just to show you guys me changing it. But you could put this to end literally any other mod you wanted. Uh, more DPS, more survivability, more anything. And you would, have, you would still have the Golem form active. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you can use this. And hopefully, it will help you out and get you manage to get you through those challenge tiers. Because I know some of you are struggling. As always, please drop a like on the video. It helps us get out there to everybody else that might want to watch and it might help them too. And while you're doing that, you might as well hit the sub button at the same time to be notified of all of our future videos. We have plenty more content coming for you guys. As always, a link to the new Discord is in the description of the video, so come check that out and join the community. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one, guys. It's been Ranks Plays, and I'm out. Peace.